you already know who it is man it's your boy nanreek it's they'll be doing a video discussing the strongest zoldic now when it comes to hunter x hunter there are many strong zoldics within the zoldic family and me personally i think besides the freaks family the zoldic family is definitely the strongest or one of the strongest bloodlines in hunter x hunter now the reason why i said that is because they have people like Zeno, and we know that Zeno he was basically netro's right hand man for and during the Chimera Ant arc. I mean, we saw that Netro, he was basically like, yo, I'm going to need some help. And he went and called upon Zeno. And Zeno, we saw that even as an old man, he was able to stand up against people like Krollo. Although there is a whole controversy of people saying stuff like, oh, we don't know if Krollo was stronger than Zeno because of what Zeno said when he was like, if we were to fight one on one, you would have beaten me. But then Zeno said something along the line that if I was trying to kill you, then I would have won. So yeah, there is definitely some, a little bit of misconstruction when it goes on between the whole Zeno and Krolo thing but nonetheless even if Krolo is strong enough to beat Zeno that's definitely not an insult because Krolo is the leader of the Phantom Troop and we know that the Phantom Troop is definitely one of the strongest if not the strongest organizations in Hunter x Hunter so yeah the fact that Zeno would lose to him in a fight or the fact that they're somewhat around the same level that is definitely not an insult and not to mention the fact that yeah Netro handpicked this guy to help him invade the whole uh, tower of the Khmeria arc so Zeno he's definitely very strong and then we move on to people like Silva who is the current head of the Zoldic family and Zeno I think that's there Silva I think he's a little bit slept on because there's a lot of people who don't think highly of Silva and this was kind of spooky the number one reason why people don't think highly of Silva is because we saw back in the whole Krolo fight one of the main reasons that people don't think of him is because the simple fact oh they had these two on one if he was strong enough he could just take him out alone like no that is not a reason to discredit Silva the reason why those two went and fought on together was because it would have made the job much much more easier because they obviously i do think that silva he is somewhere around the same level as those guys but i do think that they must have thought yo if we can take them out if or if we use two of the strongest uh zoldic family members right now then it would have been easier so at the end of the day they're assassins killing people is their job so they're just trying to make the job easier you know what i'm saying they just wanted a little bit they wanted a little bit time to kick back and relax and then we move on to Illumi. And Illumi, me personally, he is definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Zoldic members. Simply because his character, his personality, everything, just the way that he was introduced, he kind of reminds me a lot of Itachi from Naruto. Whereas on the outside, it seems like that he doesn't really care about Killua because all the stuff that he's done to him. But then on the inside, we know that he really does care about him. For example, we seen basically back in the Hunter exams, Illumi, he was trying to stop Killua from joining the, we're basically trying to get any friends and on the outside, that must look really bad. And people, they must be like, yeah, this guy's definitely, uh, he's not the nicest person, but then once you actually look at it, he was only trying to do this to protect him because he thought, yo, you don't need friends for your job. Uh, if you have friends, it'll only hold you back. And then there's even moments where we see Hisoka. He jokefully plays around like, yo, I think I might have to kill Killua. And then we just see a Lumi, like he just goes crazy. He's, he's, he gets all evil and stuff. So then he's like, what did you just say? And then we know Hisoka's like, dude, relax, dude. It's just a joke. So yeah, we know that a Lumi, he definitely does care for Killua a lot. But yeah, I definitely do think that he is candidate for one of the strongest Zoldics. And then we definitely have to move on to Maha Zoldic. And Maha Zoldic, he is definitely one of the strongest Zoldics simply because he was hyped up to be one of the people who Netro barely escaped fighting with. So that is definitely something spooky and Prime Netro to be exact. So yeah, we know that Maha Zoldic and Prime Netro, they've gotten to a fight. And we know that Netro, he, they both seemingly escaped from it. So they must have either A, been evenly matched or they must have been some other reason maybe somebody's life got spared or something i don't know i think that'll be 10 times more spooky if we find out that like somebody spared one of their lives but nonetheless if this guy was able to fight one-on-one -on -one with prime Netro, then you know that he is definitely something spooky and yo i definitely cannot forget the others the other brothers i believe his name is kill or yeah i believe his name is kill or mill i i'm it's actually so bad like the, i'm talking about the fat old the fatter brother you guys know who i'm talking about but yeah he definitely he definitely does have like the assassin type mentality but 
when it comes to, like, physical strength, I don't think he's that much. Because we saw back when he was even torturing Killua, he, was, he wasn't really using, like, any type of, like, powers. He was just more focused on, like, using, like, to objects and stuff. And then there's even one moment where he's talking to Zeno. He basically, like, yo, I, I, I made, like, some bump, some mosquito, like, explode on somebody. So, yeah, he definitely is more of, like, a tactical assassin. But he definitely is still a member of the Zodic family. So, he can't really sleep on him. And then we move on to Aluka. And yes, Aluka, we know that she basically went off and she joined the Phantom Troop. And what, from what we saw from her, I don't actually, I don't know if I should call it a her, him or her. What, what we saw from them was definitely impressive because she, he or she is similarly a lot younger than Killua. So the fact that she was able to go off and join the Phantom Troop and what she actually displayed versus in her fight. Yeah, that was definitely very spooky. So then we move on to Aluka, and Aluka is definitely one of the most spookiest members of the group because we know that she is basically, um, she's kind of like a bad luck charm. We know the only person that can really talk to her and who, who can really only grant wishes is Killua. So yeah, we know that Aluka, she is definitely very strange, and she is definitely a very spooky member. Now, I know at this point, some of you guys might be thinking, what about Killua? Why haven't you spoken about Killua yet? And the main reason I haven't spoken about Killua yet yeah, it's because this is about to get very spooky. But the main reason why I will save Akilo for last is because he could be the strongest Zoldig. Now, let me explain. I know some people, they're already ready to dislike Flag. You know, they're ready to just take down my channel and take down this video for saying Akilo is the strongest. Obviously, I do not mean right now. Obviously, Akilo, he's not the strongest Zoldig member right now. But Earlier on in the series, there have been many, many moments foreshadowing at Killua becoming the strongest Zoldic. And I'm not talking about just because of like some plot armor or anything. I'm just talking about from actual the characters and the members of the Zoldic family saying it themselves. Now, I know some people, they might just see, okay, you're only saying that because Silva wants him to be the head. While that is true, that what that is one of the reasons why I'm saying it, that's not the only reason why I'm saying that. We even see people like Kill, like Mill, like Mill, the fatter older brother. He basically says, yo, Killua, even though he's so spoiled, he does have incredible potential. And that's a lot coming from him because we know that he hates the fact that Killua gets all of the, he gets basically all the attention. So Mill, he definitely acknowledges Killua's strength. And then even Zeno himself, he acknowledges that Killua is something special. And you know that if if Zeno says something about you like that, you know that you definitely have what it takes to be the most important uh, member of the Zoldic family. And even Killua's mother, she's always like, yo, Killua is so important. He shouldn't be wasting time like this. It's like the most important time of his life. And so everybody that is definitely a top tier member in the Zoldic family, they're all hyping up Killua to have this incredible potential. So that is the reason why I think that Kilwa he could become the greatest Zoldic member. But overall, what do you guys think about this video? I know this is kind of a longer video. If you guys enjoy these type of longer videos, let me know. But if you guys want me to keep them a little bit shorter, I would definitely do that. Comment what you guys see down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.